Hey, Murray, is that you? Murray, that name's a stain on my pants, bro. What? Cooper, you got some fuzzy dice to come round here. Dimitri, long time no punch. See you're still in jail. And you still a cracker box. Let's get past the name calling and get to business. Looking for main man Murray, eh? Sorry, but I'd rather see you get busted big time! God! Polizia! Wait! Wrap me out to those cops and I'll get thrown in there with you. It'll be a heck of a cage match, and we both know who will win. Or did you forget Paris? <sighs> Worth it to see your smug face behind the bars. Where's that generous nature you're so famous for? I always pegged you as the bigger man in these types of situations. I'm a big man. Big with the payback and the sex appeal. <laughs> Got that end? I control the beat on this track. You're just a dancer. If those cops get their mitts on me, who's gonna break you out of jail? You might get this cell door open, but the cops would throw down and bust me on the way out, and then I'll get the double sentence. <laughs> Leave! Tell you what, I'll steal a couple of police uniforms, we'll suit up, and then just walk out the front door. Come on, man. I'm a fashion all-star. No way, no how I'm dressing up in polyester pig suit. Some things worse than jail. Look, I got in here through an air vent. We can both use it to escape. I can't fit in no vent. You spy my macho frame? I'm packing too much sexy muscle to fit in vent like you stick dudes. How about I get the cops' attention, then run for it? Once they're all outside shooting at me, you can slip out no problem. No, that's a plan I can get behind. Dimitri is free and Cooper is cooked. <laughs> Key for sale is in head cut lady's office. Okay, great. This other lock won't be a problem. I should be able to crack it by hand. Get me out of here, and I'll find Murray. No sweat. Just keep on the down low and out of sight near them coppers, bro. They're a bad bunch of bunnies. Dimitri, funny seeing you here. Never pegged you as a flyboy. Like a dance floor with many lights. I have many profiles. Dig? Don't even try to understand the silky enigma of Dimitri. Bentley seemed to think you might have a copy of the Aces flight lineup. That true? And why should I talk to a two-bit Rudy Poot cracker box like you? Question mark in bold. Why? Listen, pal, we both know who will win in a fight between the two of us. I'm not looking to start something here, but you know I'll finish it. True that, raccoon. In the mano a mano, you win. But look around, you soft sock. It's a supersized aviator blowout. Start the fight in hotel, and disqualification will be yours. <laughs> you want that, Jack? You might want to think about talking, pal. I could always rat you out to the Black Baron. Then you'd be out of a job. I'd have no job, and you'd have no nada flight lineup. Mm, go ahead, blow that whistle. I'll be seeing you in the loser's hot dog banquet. We both know you're going to tell me. You wouldn't have bothered showing up if you didn't want to talk. So, spill it. I know, but to talk is like sitting on an electric chair. 
The Baron has eyes, eyes and ears, ears and fists. Dimitri will be discovered, and the jig is pinched. You talk, and the secret stays between us. I am a thief, after all. Keeping things quiet is what I do best. Trust a band of thieves? Do I look chumpy to you? Your promises will be cold comfort when I'm pushing up the daisies with concrete overshoes. If you talk, me and the gang will protect you. We're all in this together. You can count on us. You know our reputation. The Black Baron is a big wheel. He'll roll all over us. Too many men he commands. We can't stop them. Too many to count. Come on now, Dimitri. A man like you can deal with this Black Baron. You've got the best fashion sense of anyone I know. The fashion? Style? You're right. If I cannot dress him, I can certainly outsmart him. All is told through clothes. Okay, I'll talk a flight line up if you agree to owe Dimitri a favor, which I'll collect in a few months of time. A favor? There's no small time favor like, will you water my fish or feed my plant? No way, bro! This old school mafia blood pack favor, like movies, <gasps> big time. No dice. I'm not in the habit of racking up debts, and I don't plan on starting now. No dice, no debt, no aces, flight, line up. The choice is yours. Take debt and take flight, Rasta. Otherwise, take away nothing. Would a few coins maybe change your mind? I find it's a lot easier to talk when I'm rich. Bribe money? Le bling? Cash won't help me get done what needs getting done. I need gang of thieves, not Federal Reserve. Okay, Dimitri. Book me up with the flight roster, and we'll owe you one. Done! <laughs> the bargain she has struck. To find flight roster, look behind one of the tacky paintings in Black Baron's air hangar. It's hidden in secret safe. Art decryption lock, huh? I know just the guy for the job. Huh? Stand cool. Here comes Big Cheese. Hello, Belgium Flyer. Do you like comedy? I think it's time for Mr. Salty Pants to crack a smile. What do you say? Why did the chicken cross the road to France? Because it wasn't turkey! And you see, the chicken's not a turkey, or a Turk! It's a chicken! A French hen! What was Genghis Khan's favorite meal? The brains of his enemy! Get it? I mean, it's more weird and gross than funny, but I... I mean, you gotta admit, it's pretty weird. I can't make heads or tails of this coin! <laughs> Get it? It's totally funny because, like, when you flip a coin, it comes out either heads or tails. Come on, that's comic gold! That Baron, he's always, I love flying, don't go outside, listen to me, I'm so smart, I'm the boss, my mustache is so macho, <laughs> that's pretty lame, huh? Ever see someone put their fist down their throat? Ta! Hey, fish! Duck! Duck! I yell! 
Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I'll beat it, twerp. The Black Baron's been giving me the grill since that event in your hangar. Perhaps you'd like to take out some frustration by engaging in a physical battle with me outside of the town square. No way! I'm being watched here. That, and it wouldn't feel right pounding a four-eyed runt in a wheelchair. I'm sure you wouldn't win in the fight anyway. You've got such a long, sad history of losing to the Cooper gang. I could whip your whole gang with one arm if you jerks would sit still. Look at these arms. I'm unstoppable. My head is spinning from your breath. What, do you gargle with raw sewage every night before bed? Yeah, you're half right. I find a nice tang to my breath helps maintain my poisonous space. You know, I've been thinking about your appearance. Look, if you don't got nothing to say nice, then don't say nothing at all. Get it? What? Ain't got no sassy comments, smart guy? Oh, I get it. You got nothing nice to say, so you're keeping quiet. That's real cute. You really got nothing nice to say? That's cold. Do you even know what I'm saying to you? Or are you too stupid to understand the words coming in through your ear holes? What? What's an ear hole? Talk sense, why don't you? Your mother was a broken down tub of junk with more gentleman callers than the operator. Nobody talks that way about my mother! Nobody! Okay, little broken down runt. Looks like you're gonna get broken down even more. Town Square, five minutes. Please don't be late. I see you carry the cane of the notorious Cooper Thief Clan. Have you come here for revenge? To steal back the thievious Raccoonus? Whoa! This is just like the time I beat the stuffing out of you. Why should you care if I bury a few worthless villagers in the snow? You are a thief, just like me. Uh, yeah, are you even listening to what I'm saying? Insolent child, you shall pay dearly for your disrespect. Still, to honor your Cooper ancestry, I will send you to your doom with the beauty of my new firework technique. Flame Fool! Uh-oh. Snap out of it! This is all in your head! My mind is clear, focused on your destruction. Look, I'm here to help you, to get your mind out of this rut. If you truly wish to aid me, stand still and let my fireballs cook your flesh. You know how this will end. I've already beat you once, I can do it again. I have never known defeat. I am unbeatable. You're just a frustrated firework artist turned homicidal pyromaniac. Am I? Am I? Let us find out.
We both know why you're here. You're fixated on the moment of your greatest defeat. I beat you, and forever after you've wondered how it all fell apart. I hate you, Sly Cooper. You've ruined me. Ruined the Panda King. And I've hated you, but that doesn't make any of this real. Years have passed, and, and we both changed. Come out of this trance, let's meet each other as we are today, and, and let go of who we were when this fight occurred. You are correct. Forgive me, my mind is not always my own. Hello, old friend. I am about to work alongside Sly Cooper, and I cannot carry you with me on the journey. You fool! This is your chance for revenge! He humiliated us, ruined us, made us weak! Humiliation was a crossroads. I have chosen to walk the path of humility. Humility that cost you your daughter! Destroy Cooper now! Without Cooper and his associates, I stand little chance of rescuing Jing King. Little chance! Allow yourself to dip into my hateful fury, and we can save Jing King single-handed. Such an action would cost many lives. Your path of moderation will cost you Jing King! Without Cooper, who would you have to hate? Your reason to cling inside my mind would be gone. No! If you killed Cooper, it is you who would disappear. I would take your place. Cooper is a teacher of humility. We have slain his parents, yet he manages to trust us. By studying him, we will become whole. I have no desire to join with my weaker side. You are failure. I am the strength that used to be the once glorious Panda King. You are strong, and I am humble. But only through cooperation will we become the father Jing King needs. The yin and the yang? If strength were all that mattered, Sao would be an ideal son-in-law. Very well. Cooper shall live. Your crew doesn't like me much, Lefui. Where'd you find them? A charitable home for cross-eyed deviants? Oh! Hear that, shipmate? The condemned man labeled you all waste of skin. Ha! How's that sit with ya? Stick him! Tear the meat from his bones! Let's drink his blood! It appears you're right, Cooper. They are deviants. This plank's got splinters in it. I thought a prissy sailor like you would take more pride in his ship. Oh, no. I take a great deal of pride working splinters into the feet of those about to walk my plank. <laughs> Tis the extra touches that makes all the difference. Making me walk the plank? You're the pinnacle of creativity, Lefui. Not creative! I'm the smartest man in the Seven Seas, you... You slanderous... Scabbard! That's the best insult you can think of? I could do better in a coma, while speaking a foreign language, to deaf apes. 
Your wordsmithing is preposterous, presumptuous, and patently premeditated. Time to put that slack tongue to use, like giving the shark something to chew on. Stop it. You're hurting my feelings. More name-calling like that, and I'm leaving. Cheap action movie dialogue won't get you out of this one, Cooper. You're as good as dead, or my name's not Lefwi. You've got a real knack for pirate talk. Put two nonsense words together and pow! Scary pirate name-calling. Bah! You might be quick with the put-downs, but who's got the hidden girl? Ha ha ha! Me! You'll never find her! Hidden? A fellow sharp as you couldn't hide a stick in the forest. I've got some skill in hiding my blade in lover's guts. Fancy a demonstration? Yeah, I suppose you'd have to keep her locked up. After all, if she ever got away, you'd never get a date. It is true, I have a strong personality. But I've never had a problem with the ladies, especially when I have a broadside aimed at their sailboat. Uh, savvy! I'm not worried about Penelope. A girl tough as that will free herself by tomorrow morning, then come and steal your wallet. Ha! That chickadee will never escape a skull keep. She's locked up in irons, and there she stays, until she agrees to love me despite all my faults. <laughs>